I wouldn't mind doing this again. Me neither. Alex has a really big character arc throughout the film. Uh, so he starts as a very immature, privileged, chip on his shoulder kind of kid who, you know, is forced to grow up after this cake incident. Um, and it's really nice to watch him grow throughout, you know, the or two hours or so that we get to watch uh, Henry and Alex be together. So he's, he's gregarious. He's you know, wants to be in politics. He wants to be his mom. He wants to be his dad. He just really wants to, um, wants to prove to the world that he's, he is someone. Henry is very much the catalyst, I think, in a lot of ways. Uh, two thirds of the movie is told from Alex's perspective and a third is told from, from Henry's. Um, but Alex is a much freer, human being and I think the world he lives in is much more accepting of, of who he is as a person whereas the sort of archaic nature of the institution that Henry is born into and, and um, has to present himself in every single day uh, means that it, it's almost impossible for him to be who he is. So the, the story moves forward in the sense that, that it isn't as simple as them just loving each other. They are not two normal people. I sent you to London with some pretty simple instructions. Represent the family at the royal wedding and don't cause an international incident. Henry shoved me. An urge I currently share with the prince. Alex and Henry start the relationship at this climate conference in the film. And Alex is kind of snubbed by Henry. So Alex has this, this kind of preconceived notion of him that he's a jerk and he wants nothing to do with him. Whereas Henry had just lost his father and you just didn't want to be in public. So Alex has kind of harbored this resentment toward him. So then when he has to go to the wedding, he doesn't bring his best self. He brings like this 12 year old version of himself who wants to be in competition with Henry. The cake incident happens and then he has a strict talking to by his father. So after that, when Alex has to fly back and do damage control is when their relationship starts, I would say, like the good stuff. Um, Alex realizes that Henry's not this monster that he's thought he was the whole time. It's been such a joy working with Taylor and I really couldn't imagine anyone better suited to play Alex. I think the most important thing in casting Alex was to find someone who could really go tete-a-tete -tete with me and, and, and with Henry. Um, this film is, is a two-hander and it's all about the chemistry and, and the banter um, that you can have between the two of them. Um, Taylor's, he, he's such a fun loving person, is such a joy to be around and, and so much of the filming process for me is about finding a, a uh, acting partner who, who just loves being here as much as I do and um, uh, I can't say enough good things about him. Good morning. Zara, breathe. Don't you tell me what to do. Working with Nick has been has been excellent. Uh, we we've gone through a lot. You know, we got here a couple weeks early for rehearsals, and you know, it's a very intimate movie. So we had to become close very fast and kind of trust each other right away. And and we did. It was um, it wasn't hard. It was really just committing to the to the text and trusting our director Matthew, and. It's just, it's great working with him because I think we have a really good banter on and off screen, which helps our characters uh, when we are acting together. I mean, but we get in a lot of trouble. Like we really do. We, we get yelled at by our first AD Ben a lot and Matthew will tell us to calm down just because as soon as you're out of a scene, you're like critiquing each other, critiquing yourself. And I think we're each other's biggest supports in the room um, just because we both care so much. I know he cares, I know I care, and we just want to make the best product possible. 